Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 29th through May 5th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So kind of feels like this week you're going to be very much aware of all of the possibilities or alternatives that exist to a current situation that you're dealing with. I feel like you're going to find great success actually um, in maybe an unexpected place. I just feel like there's going to be so many doors that are going to open for you very soon, Sagittarius, um, kind of because you took a chance on something. You know, I feel like you took a chance on something, not really expecting much except, you know, maybe one or two outcomes. It feels like now you're going to be rewarded with a plethora of outcomes, a plethora of, you know, opportunities to receive abundance. I feel like you've opened up the door um, to, you know, kind of a lot of divine um, gifts. So we have the Nine of Wands, the um, Knight of Wands six of wands and the ten of pentacles so that's a lot of wands that's a lot of fire that's your energy right you are fire and so i feel like with the ten of pentacles it's like it's all coming back to this it's all coming back to the abundance that you're about to receive you decided to not give up on something you are moving in the direction of a situation here that is going to be very very successful you're going to receive a lot of recognition for this and all you had to do was make some sort of action here so you took a chance you took some action and now it is really going to benefit you in a major way but i feel like for a lot of you it's been a tough journey or it's been challenging enough where you know you you couldn't have possibly anticipated it to be this good or maybe you did but the way that it's showing up is actually quite um pleasantly surprising so Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Wands to see what exactly this could be about. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So for some reason, the phrase leave no stone unturned just popped into my head while I was shuffling uh, to clarify the um, Knight of Wands. So I'm not sure if that resonates with any of you for some reason, but leave no stone unturned. You know, it's interesting with that eight of swords, I feel like this is the energy that you've come out of. You've come out of this energy that resembles restriction, limitation, feeling like you're stuck somewhere, feeling like you don't have options. You've come out of that and slowly but surely have made your way so that there is now this balance um, in your life here. So we have this, we have the six of swords, the knight of swords and the six of pentacles. I can't help but feel like you've done something um, recently, Sagittarius, that has brought about a sense of um, almost like harmony between you and maybe a person that you are connecting with. Kind of like you decided to um, make something right or make something fair. Um, and it's kind of coming back to you in a major way. It's kind of like the epitome of good karma, except you did something you didn't have to do. You did something you wanted to do. And now this is what you're receiving for that. So whatever you did that was out of your way or to help another person or to just, you know, go above and beyond, you're now receiving some sort of karmic or divine reward for that. And I feel like it's going to help you boost your, you know, confidence to do something that is strictly just for you. So for, for you know... Um, example purposes maybe you helped someone out you know during a time where they were in need maybe you gave them a little bit of money or you helped them you know pay for something I feel like if you're on you know the brink of starting your own business or you know doing something that requires some sort of investment you're about to receive something that's going to help you do that uh, because of this one other thing that you did before it just feels like good karma uh, but for a lot of you, it's also about the fact that you decided to go out of your way um, to do something. And now you're just like, okay, you know, I guess, I guess that was worth it. All right, let's clarify the nine of wands. And we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you're connecting to a Capricorn. We also have the Page of Swords, King of Cups, and the Universe. So 
with this universe card, I feel like this is confirmation that the universe is giving you something for something that you did, right? So with that King of Cups, that this is your your love, your compassion, your empathy, whatever it is that you shared um, without asking for much in return. Even with this Page of Swords, you're about to receive information. You're about to receive confirmation from the universe that you're going to get what's, you know, what you deserve because of this thing that you did. And even with this Devil card, I feel like this is about embracing the fact that, you know, maybe sometimes there are people around us that don't deserve our help sometimes, but when we are willing to give it, right, especially if it's with family members or people that we're really close to, like that act alone is going to manifest and bring about abundance to yourself. So it's kind of a, you know, almost like a theme about sometimes why it's a good thing to be the bigger person, even if in that moment we're not doing it to be the bigger person, we're just doing it to be a good one. So really love this for you, Sagittarius. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.